Hello Beetle people! Craig here for another update. Wanted to go over some of the finds I found. So kind of go over some of the things before in my past video, my first video, I didn't think were too very high quality. So there's only a couple here I wanted to go over. The first one was the Beatles second album. I've seen some people have their show in their album. I, I definitely wanted to show this one again and show you what to look for when you're trying to pick up the first pressing of the second album. Um, on the second album, of course, you want to look for the brownish red Beatles. This is going to be brownish red, but you also want to see this green. You want it to be more green in color, like dark green, rather than a kind of a light green. I'm going to show it up to the camera so you can see. And kind of the Beatles are in a dark, dark, it's like a dark red, almost brownish color. And we can tell that this is a first pressing because this is actually a promotional album. So it says free promotional record, that stamp says not to be sold. Very, very cool. And also what you want to see is on the, on the record on side two, you're gonna gonna want to see the running times for Long Tall Sally and I Call Your Name. So, and this is a West Coast version. Has the one with the little like mountain slope thing instead of just a straight line. So that's that. Also, the other one I wanted to go over was this single, Hey Jude. So this is actually a very rare record. Um, well, I mean, it's not hugely rare, of course, but it's been mass produced. And the first pressings of this out of this record, I wanted to kind of go over and sh uh, show. So with the Hey Jude record, what do you want to look for on the label is just the time or the, the you have the running time, you have the number. The Beatles and, of course, Lennon McCartney. You don't have any producer credit. You don't have the um, other numbers, the matrixy numbers on it. It's just this. And you have the running time, the revolution, on the other side, and a straight line. It's kind of odd how they did that. But this is the first West Coast pressing. And one of the things to look for is the apple sleeve, the tab. When they made these sleeves, they didn't make a lot of the tabs, um, tab Apple label sleeves. They, they only made them straight across. I'll show another record here as well that's a West Coast, and it's just a straight, straight cut across. These tab ones are very rare to find and very expensive. The most expensive one, of course, is the one where they forgot to do the uh, manufacturer error, put the hole, stamp out the hole so it's just a black sleeve. But this is actually a very rare, they made, this is made by Burtco. The other ones were made by uh, Queen Litho. So one's on the west coast, Burtco is on the west, and Queen Litho is on the east. So they only made like 20%. 20% Burtco made these sleeves, and 80 to 80% 80 of the straight across, ta or straight across by Queen's Litho on the east coast. So if you can pick up this, this is the correct version of Hey Jude. So just because it has an apple on the on the front doesn't mean it's a first pressing of Hey Jude. You have to look for these these variants. It doesn't have the matrixy number under the the actual number of the the catalog number. It doesn't have producer credit. It doesn't have recorded in England on either side. But the correct sleeve is the tabby sleeve. So you're going to want to see that. So all right, let me get on to the fines. Those are the ones I wanted to go over. So while I was uh, doing my records and kind of looking on the updates, I showed this on the last time. The course, the We Can Work It Out, the Day Tripper here, I'll go right up to the camera. And that's a West Coast because of the tabby, as we stated before. But what I was finding as well, you know, I'll just take these out, is I had this, this, this We Can Work It Out.
can see that right here. This is an east coast. We can work it out because the BMI is very thin, thinly print. And this isn't a first pressing. And you might say, oh, because it has, doesn't have the subs subsidiary yet here. It's not that. It doesn't have that. But it's not a first printing of the record because the first printing don't list the running times. And of course, this is an East Coast pressing because it doesn't go with my tabby. We can work it out sleeve. So I had to find that. definitely see there's no running time and see how blocky the BMI is that's that's a west coast variant so that's how you tell the difference between the two this is a west coast with the blocky BMI opposed to the thin print see how that's thin so that's how you tell an east coast see where you have an east coast record matching an east coast sleeve and vice versa with the west coast but if we can work it out, what you want to take a look at is there's no running times. And the same thing on the Cripper. No running time. They didn't know what how long the song was when they were printing the label. So that was kind of an upgrade there. The new one I got just today is I Feel Fine. She's a woman. She's kind of an upgrade. The West Coast. We got the tab, and here's the record, and you can tell it's the, the right pressing. I feel fine. Very, very, really nice. No, hardly anybody played this. See the blocky, the blocky plant? Doesn't have the subsidiary on the bottom. So this is the first pressing, of course, as well. Blocky print, she's a woman. Got this one as well, an upgrade. Baby, you're a rich man, very nice one. It's like this one was hardly ever used. It's a tab, so it's a west coast. See how it bends down a little bit? You can see it right there. Okay. And let me show you the record. Now here, you can see that this, of course, it goes with the record, see the, the blocky this is a west coast but what you're going to want to see for a printing because this doesn't have the subsidiary on the print of course but what you're going to want to make sure you don't have for the first pressings are there's there's no comma after baby now west coast didn't have any didn't have any commas but the east coast did so you're going to want to make sure there's just no comma see on on the sleeve there is though see there's a comma you just want to make sure on the record itself that there's no comma after baby. So this one was hardly played as well. All you need is love. And then the blocky print. So it's it's a West Coast. Okay. And then I showed this one as well in my last video. Here's the sleeve. I want to hold your hand. But the problem was, here's the record to this one. I want to hold your hand. It's it's a West Coast, so everything checks out. But this was not the first pressing of the record because it it's on. I saw her standing there. Has Gill Music Corp right above the BMI. So I had to get an upgrade. So here's the sleeve. Here's the different sleeve. And I'll prove to you. I have two of them, of course. Here's the the two I want to hold your hands. But here you can tell it's a West Coast because they crop off George's head and the, the picture is fuller and it's a lot darker but this is what I was actually looking for and I saw her standing there the first pressings of the wet record came out in 1963 in December and it has Walter Hoffer and it doesn't list BMI on there so these are the first pressings of the sleeve. There's actually, or excuse me, the record. There's three. There's Walter Hoffer, Pickus and Sons, and then Gill, Gil, what was it, Gill Music, I think it was? Yeah, Gill Music. So here's the third pressing, again. 
and the first pressing. Kind of a little bit of a trick to see the first pressings. So, all right, next one. Get back. So here is the straight across. This is a West Coast. See, and there's no tab. It's kind of kind of gives the impression that there is, but there's no tab. It's bent a little bit. So this is a West Coast. But the thing is, this is a first pressing. Now you're saying you're looking at yourself. You're saying, hey, this is a kind of a chewed up version of Get Back. But they're very very hard to find, as I found out. The first pressings of them. And the way you tell if you have a first pressing on Get Back is of course if you can see there's no listed time no running times and you're gonna wanna make sure that you have no listed times on both sides see no running time that some person had to write in the running time on this so it just says BMI and then a hyphen and then nothing space so First pressings of Get Back have that, and they're very, I found out that they're harder to find than, than you would think. That's for sure. So, the last single I want to do was, I got this, Lady Madonna. Very, very easy to find sleeve, but it's hard to find without record, uh, the, the, the ring wear. So, for some reason, Somebody put a sticker. I mean, they have this big blue spot right here that's free, and somebody decided to put the 77 cent record over Paul's face. I don't know. Either they don't like Paul, or this was helps the Paul is dead theory, maybe. <laughs> All right, but the thing to actually look for, there's two things on that single. The first thing you're going to want to try to get is they put the, this is a official Beatles fan club, kind of like a please join the Beatles official uh, fan club oops and to get a free fabulous poster offer so they actually put these in the first pressings of the single so and you can take a look if you want to pause it and read all that Let's see if you can get a focus really quick there we go and this is on the back Oop. so that's for the Beatles monthly book You can sign up for it, kind of fill this out and send it in. They, it came right in the single, and as you can tell, it's the single. So they put it right in the sleeve, so it fit right in the sleeve. But first pressings as well, what you're going to want to look, again, is no running times. It's very hard to find one without a running time. Now, not all first pressings of the Beatles singles are this way, but these ones that I'm showing you, the first pressings of the swirl, just because it has a swirl and without the subsidiary print doesn't mean it's a first pressing. You're going to want to see without the BMI, the, the running times on both sides. They had no idea the running times. So you can tell it's East Coast because, again, it's not blocky the BMI is not blocky it's more str it's straighter here's the one that came with it as well this is the C there it's the same thing except we got some running times on this one Two seventeen. so you're gonna wanna look at the running times the most of all alright so the last thing I want to show in this video as an update is I got myself a I got this a couple a couple months ago actually it is the Beatles Christmas album now this is an album that you're gonna want to really take a look at closely because it's heavily counterfeited just like the the VJ album so what you're gonna want to see come up to the here not only a lot of people start stating that you're going to want to see the eye and Ringo. See, see how you can see his eye right there. Let's get even closer. Get close like that. See how you can see his his left eye. Not only that, fakes have gotten really, really good at producing that. So what do you want to see? Is the next picture is look at that. See the they see the sign behind John and Paul. 
It says Theater Royale. You're going to want to be able to read that. So that's not, not just looking at the album, because this is a really nicer album in shape. But you're going to want to see as well, take a look at the record itself. So you look at the, the record and you see that little ring around the, the spindle hole? It's going to be one and a half inches. So if it's out here, you're not going to want to get that one unless you want to fake. Also, that's not only the only thing to look for. In the record, in the in the rim print, in the in the in the space, um, you're gonna the space print or the space dead wax. You're gonna want to see not only bell sound stamped, because a lot of people just think it's just bell sound. You're gonna want to see the S and F, and you're gonna want to see a triangle and a line, because it was done at the Winchester factory. So those are kind of the tips to look for as an authentic Christmas album. If those don't have it, then stay away unless you want just to buy like a $5 Christmas album from the Beatles, which is kind of cool for the, for the colored vinyl. But those are some of my updates. Tell me what you think, what you kind of feel. If you have any questions, please comment before. And as always, have a, have a great day. Peace.